Well, I'm going to show you how to double your gas mileage. Uh, and this is uh, one part of it. What you're going to do is going to be, you're going to coast. So I'm going to show you about the shifter. So you're going to put it in reverse. And see, when, it, when you put it in reverse from, from park, so you can go here, you go, you can't get it out. So you got to hit the brake. And then you push this button, you know, it'll go to reverse. But uh, so, but it won't let you go back into park, but it will let you go into neutral. So when you're in neutral, see, without hitting a button, see, without hitting a button here, you, uh, you can put it in drive, or you can push it back in neutral. You can push it back all the way down. It won't go anywhere but drive. But you can put it in neutral, drive, neutral, drive. To get it in second, you have to push the button to do it. But then when you get it in a second, you got to push the button again to do it again. But now to go back up to drive, you can push it up like that, but it will stop in neutral. Neutral drive, that's where you want, right there. That's where it's going to, you're going to, you're going to uh, go up to like 60 miles an hour in drive, and you're going to put it in neutral. You're going to let it coast down to about 55, 50, and then you're going to put it in drive and give it the gas. So here we go. We're going to we're going to uh, we're going to shut it off just for a second. Okay. So we're in drive now. So we're going to take off. We're stopped. So we're going to take off. So we're going to go about 40. Okay, so we're going to bring it up to 40. Bring it up to about 40. And then we're going to go down here. We're going to push it neutral. I'm going to let off of it. Now here it is, 40. So we're going to let it drop down to about, about 30. So now I'm going to Put it down, put it in drive. And I'll put it back in neutral. Okay, now we're going to put it in drive. Put it in neutral. Let it coast down to about 30. All this time it's coasting and not using any gas. We have a stop sign up here, so we're going to have to stop. So it's still in neutral. Now we're going to put it in drive. left up here. Okay, here we go. We drop down to, we're going to bring it up to 40. All this time is coasting. I'm going to pull it down, put it in, in, uh, in drive. I'm going to bring it to 
40 miles an hour, just put it back into neutral. We let it coast. All this time we're coasting here, we're not spending any, any gas, very little. Now we're going to give it the gas again. Put it back in neutral. Start coasting again. Put it back in neutral to drive, to give it the gas, put it back in neutral. Now it's about 30, put it back into drive. We're going to go left up here to stop some. Put it back into neutral. Turn the uh, blinker light on. Now we're in uh, neutral, so I'm going to put it down into drive. You can move this back and forth. Without putting that, pushing that button, you can't go. That's the only place you can go. So here we go. We're just about ready to go. So we'll accelerate back up to uh, 40 miles an hour. Push it back into neutral. As you can see, the uh, engine's only doing about six, seven hundred RPM a minute. Put it back into drive. We're going to go left here, so I'm going to put it back into neutral. And I'm gonna put it, I'll put it in drive. Got a stop sign. That's basically all you do is you just uh. If you're going to go 40, you bring it up to 40 and drive, and then you put it and slip it into neutral, and let it coast, and it coasts down to 30, and then you put it back in drive, and you accelerate to 40 again, just back and forth, up and down, up and down. So here we are, we're going down here. So it's about 40, I'll put it in neutral. See it's neutral there. And we're still now we're still uh, coasting quite a ways. And still in uh, still uh, still haven't got to 30 yet. Oops, I got a stop sign. Here. Put it back into drive. Now we're going to accelerate again up to 40. I'm going to put it in uh, 
pretty neutral. I'm just going to coast all this way. And this is where you save gas when, the, when you're uh, coasting. So it's still coasting. A stop sign up here, so I have to stop. So I put it back in the drive. So we got it in drive here. And we're ready to go. That's how you... Uh, save uh, gas when you're coasting half the time or more uh, you get when you get double the gas mileage Here we go. Here we go. So we're gonna bring it up to 40 again. And there it goes, put it back in the neutral. And we're coasting. We've got a free ride here. All this way, we're not using any gas. Okay, so I'm going to put it. We're going to stop some. That's how you do it. Just uh, bring it up to 40, let it drop down to, uh, let it coast to uh, 30, back and forth, back and forth, and that's how you save gas. Okay, we're going to show you how to do it here. It's the same thing. It's in park now. So, we'll put it in reverse. And then neutral. And then drive. See, again, if you don't pull up on this lever, uh, that's like a detent. You, you pull up on it, and then it will go in, it will change gears. So, you put it... Reverse the neutral and you don't pull up on this handle like you don't pull up like this You'll be able to go neutral Neutral and drive neutral and drive. I don't know if you can see it right there. There's a little red spot neutral drive so if, if you hold, if you don't pull up on the handle, it, it, all it'll do is go to neutral and drive. Now if you raise up on the handle, now you can go to second and go to low. But you can go to drive, but you can't go back down to, uh, to second. The only thing you can do is drive and neutral. Drive and neutral. So if you want to go to, if you're stopped and you want to go to reverse, you raise that handle up. Put it in reverse, and you go to park. Okay, so you put it in reverse, neutral, and so drive. You take off, you go, and you go about 40 miles an hour, and then you uh, push it up into neutral, and you let off the gas, and it coasts. So you get down about 30 miles an hour, and you do the same thing. Put it back into drive and give it the gas. Same thing if you're doing 70. What you do, you'd go... Uh, up to 70 and drive. You get to 70, you put it back into neutral. And let it drop down to maybe 55 or 60. Drop it down into drive and give it, go back up to 70. Put it in neutral, let it coast back and forth, back and forth, and you can double your gas. But as far as the shifter, you just don't want to, uh, like on the car, you don't want to hit that detent and put it in reverse. You got to leave it where it's at and make sure that you push it back and forth 
and it won't go any further. It won't go in. You go to neutral, it'll, it will only go to neutral. You pull it in drive, it'll only go to drive. But if you hit that detent, you, it'll let you go to reverse. And if you ever do that, and the car starts slowing down pretty quick, you got to make sure you take it out a reverse and put it back into neutral. <clears throat> so uh, another thing, if you uh, you can make and maybe put something over your like on the car, you put a little detent, put a cup over it or something. And make sure you can't hit that detent. And then another thing on the car, uh, you could instead of putting your hand on top of it, where the detent is at, you could shift it down uh, lower, and that way you wouldn't have it, a, a chance to put it in reverse and bypass the detent. So good luck to you. Hopefully, uh, if you, you know, if you got a lot of money, you probably would, you don't probably won't want to do this. But if you, uh, you're scraping your pennies and you. Uh, so let's say, for instance, you got to go somewhere every month or whatever, and let's say your gas bill is 200, you can drop it down to maybe 100. So it'll probably it'll save you some money. And uh, and me, uh, I've never I've done this over and over for years and years, and I've never had a transmission problem. I I was a transmission mechanic for 30 years, and I've never have had any transmission problem with my transmission by doing this. So a lot of people say, well, you will run the transmission, but that's not true. Uh, so it's up to you. If you want to save some money, here it is. All for you. There is one more thing. I'm going to tell you how your brakes work. Uh, see, when, you, when your engine is idling, uh, you have, you have a, a booster in there, a vacuum booster. And so therefore, when it's idling, uh, you know, you, your brakes will work and work and work because you, your engine is producing vacuum. But, but if your engine should shut off, let's say you're driving down the road and your engine isn't in a very good shape and it's dying on you, uh, this method of saving gas is, is dangerous. Because what you got to do, when your engine dies, on, let's say you're going down the road and your engine dies, let's say you put it in neutral and you're coasting and the engine dies, uh, well, see, uh, you uh, when it dies and your engine isn't producing vacuum anymore, so your in your brakes have enough uh, vacuum to stop you a couple times. Uh, so let's say you're going down the road and it uh, your engine you put it neut neutral and the engine dies, well you uh, you could stop it a couple times, but if you don't, if you try to uh, go without restarting it uh, you, you'll run out of brakes you, you'll, you'll be able to stop it but you, you won't have the power brake units won't work because your engine isn't producing vacuum so if your engine isn't let's say if your engine uh, if you let it idle for a while or it dies on you uh, you need to get it fixed before you do this because your engine has to be idling uh, for this to work that way you'll be able to stop and have control of your car. So good luck to you. Bye bye. <clears throat> See another thing is uh, if you're trying to go up a hill, you know, like a pass or anything like four or five, six per percent grade, you, this won't work for you very well. But now coming down, it'll uh, it'll work for you really good. So. And you uh, go and put it in neutral and back and forth, uh, but make sure that you know that uh, you can always. Uh, if it starts going too fast, just put it, pull it down into to drive again, and uh, that will uh, your engine will help you slow down if that's necessary. Uh, so where it really works at is. Uh, <clears throat> Like flat ground, maybe two or three percent around town, uh, but up hills, uh, it's not it's not going to help you much. Uh, it's going to make you just it doesn't work. But if you're around town, you know up and down, you know maybe two or three, four or five, uh, three or four uh, degrees, uh, short uh, uh, inclines and down and up and down, uh, it'll work for you really good. And so the basically the way it does is you <clears throat> let's say like you go to seventy. You put it in neutral and uh, you let it drop back. So all the time you're in neutral and it's coasting, you, you're, you got a free ride. 
and so uh, it'll double your it'll it, about double your gas mileage. Uh, so uh, here we go.